Hello and welcome back here to the channel, I'm Evil Rabbit, here to talk about the big Torque Drift update. If you guys haven't guessed by the title, well then stick around, you're about to find out. So if you haven't guessed by the title, the big part of this new update is Adam LZ is now in Torque Drift with his S15, his S13, and his R32. So definitely a big update to add three new cars into the game, a pro car and two basically street legal drift cars. So that is probably the biggest and I would say the most anticipated release of this, I feel. So we're going to go through a couple of the other items that were in the release. We do have a new sponsorship tree where you can actually assign sponsors and get the rewards like you used to on mobile, which is a great thing to add money, gold, all kinds of things onto your cars or into your accounts. So signing sponsors is definitely a good thing, which means we're going to have to go back and start running the sponsorship tree again and try and complete the tasks. So another thing, Road Atlanta got a big update with clipping zones and proximity on speed and proximity zones which is tried and true to actual FD. So it's a big, you know, update to see that they're leaning more towards that type of thing, which is great, you know, obviously working with Formula Drift, Torque Drift is moving more towards that. So rebalancing on a couple cars, like Chelsea Denofa and Von Gittin Jr.'s cars, Jonathan Nair, and of course all three of Adam LZ's cars was another big improvement on the game so that they handle a little bit differently and things of that nature. Visual improvements, adding headlights. I know there was a few videos where I was running my Z at night. The headlights didn't work. They didn't show up on the track. They've adjusted that with some visual improvements, increased in some of the interiors of the cars and things of that nature. New items in the store, LZ MFG gear is in the store. So a couple of the other things other than the, you know, FD things, throttle responses, sponsorship trees, new headlights, tuning force feedback on the wheel support, which we will test in another episode. Um, much higher quality audio on PC, which is definitely a big thing that they increased some of the car sounds. E46 no longer clips through walls. Okay. Cars tuned with SR20 engines no longer rip burnouts unless you want them to. That's a big thing because those SR20s seem to be always just burning out tires. So, you know, uh, iPod, iPad players can now join live lobbies without an issue. Better controller support, which we're going to be testing today because we are going to be on our controller. And some bugs and some resolution things. But like I said, the biggest thing is the Adam LZ update. We're going to go take a look at his three cars here for today on today's episode. And the other thing is now Torque Drift is out of early access. So it's free to play on PC. So if you guys don't have any, have a PC, you might want to go check it out in the Steam store and maybe switch your accounts over to PC if you want. So we're going to go into the store and take a look at some of the new store items. The first thing that comes up is the Adam LZ starter pack, his S15, his 180SX or S13, and his R32. So it is a DLC. I believe it's about $15. We're going to go ahead and get that and, you know, take a look at both all three of the cars here for today's episode. We're going to cash in our free bullion. We're going to do that. And then we're going to uh, claim our free things. And of course, like I said in the earlier, LZ MFG gear is now in there as well as sticker packs for his S15 and his R32. So there's a lot of big things in here. So we're going to get these cars in our inventory and we're going to go check, shake them down and see what we can do with them. So we're going to head into the garage because we did, like I said, pick up Adam LZ's R32, his 180SX and his S15. We're going to go take them all out today. Definitely models look very nice and very super clean. So definitely super you know, excited to uh, get some nice new models in the game for sure. And, you know, obviously more pro cars is always a good thing. So let's go take these cars for a rip. Less talking, more drifting. Let's go see what we can find. Let's go to multiplayer. What do we got? We got English Town Go-Kart Track. We got Abyss of West, Ocean Drive, or No Fear Hakone. So we're going to go with the No Fear at Hakone. And we're going to take out Adam LZ's S15. So hopefully we can find a battle here for today. Like I said, we are on the Xbox One controller for today. We will test the wheel support in the, another episode here. What are we going against? We got the Yashio S Factory and Juku Racing S15. Anybody want to go against it? 
we gonna find a competitor or are we gonna go against a bot? Recently been having a little bit of problems finding people to go against. I don't know if it's something with my matchmaking or my side, so if you guys have been having issues finding one, let me know. Finding competitors, let me know down in the comment section down below. This is not the view I wanted. Oh, totally screwed that up because that was not in the view I wanted, so we are nowhere near where we should be. But we'll throw it out afterwards. Definitely not a clean run. Wrong view, but we managed to somehow put together a halfway decent run. We're going to see if we can't maybe get a good chase. And come out with a W, probably not. Kind of had to reinitiate just like that Miata did, kind of sucking up the door with a little bit of uh, e brake grab. So, not the best run. We probably need to go into fifth gear now that I think about this. And we did take the loss, but I want to try and get a rerun against him. Maybe get a rematch. It's not looking like he wants to rematch. He said, I beat you. I'm going to bounce. So we can see if we can't find somebody else here for the S15. And then we will bounce out. Oh, okay. Right away. H1G0 or H1GO in a nice Supra. So we're going to probably try and uh, this in fifth gear. Initiate in. Oops, sorry Adam, we kind of wall tapped your 15. Like I said, definitely not the cleanest run either. Better than last run, but unfortunately I don't think that's going to be good enough. Maybe it is. He either bounced out or did not want to go against the 15. So, first impressions of Adam LZ's S15. It is a very fast car. It is super grippy. And it's kind of a little bit of a challenge to control. So definitely going to be interested to get this car on the wheel and see how this car feels on a wheel versus a controller. Because we all know my controller drifting is not the greatest. Never has been and never will be because I own a wheel. I'm not going back to controller drifting. I only do it here on Torque Drift because, well, new controller support. So I don't think we're going to find another competitor so we're gonna go bounce and maybe try and find another track we do have we're not gonna go press we do have English town go-kart so we're gonna go into the go-kart track probably way too powerful for the 15 so let's pull out the 180 SX and see what we can do with Adam LZ's 180 on the go-kart track we are going up against drift fan 01 in that uh R32, 1200 horsepower to 867 horsepower on LZ MFG's S13. Either this man's taking screenshots or he, uh, he's just waiting for the timer to go down, trying to ice me apparently. Third gear. Oh. And we just wrecked hard into that wall. Unfortunately, that's a zero. So we're going to have to try this initiation again. Because unfortunately, that was not what I wanted to do. The struggles are real. So we're going to do a rematch. Waiting for the opponent. First time it's actually shown that, it means he's actually still in here. We are going to get that rematch. All right. So don't go so hard into the paint off the rip. Okay, that's a little better. I feel like we probably should be in fourth gear, but the course kind of tightens up here. I think fourth gear is the gear we need to be in fully. So we managed to complete that run. The... The 180 is definitely a little bit different, and it doesn't look like he did that time. 
Oh man, one for one on the fails. So we're gonna go to a third round and maybe try and get, no, no, I think he left. Well, we did take the win on that one. I think we need to be in fourth gear with this car on the track. So we're going to try and find somebody else for the 180, and then we're switched up to the R32. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the description box below. If you guys want to keep seeing Torque Drift here on the channel, and you guys want to see maybe see these cars on the wheel, let me know down in the comments as well. The best way for me to know is if you tap that like button and subscribe and hit that bell. I would appreciate the support. The Humble. This is going to be a very big uphill battle. 1,800 horsepower? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think the 180SX will be able to take that down. We go fourth. And we did the same thing we did last time, but this time we're going to keep the car going. And try and finish the runoff. I'm just wrecking his 180 all over the place. So I wish this car had a little bit more steering lock. I think that is what I'm fighting for the snapback and things of that nature but we did complete a run and we're still waiting for him did he fail or did we just take out the humble on a David and Goliath match we did not take out the humble he did get 12,000 and we got 8 so We gotta do a massive chase run here if we're gonna wanna take a W. And not go hard into the wall. Okay, he definitely did what I did. And sent me clear into the barriers. So unfortunately, we are not gonna get a good chase. And that's just the tale of online drifting here on Torque Drift. So I do like the 180, a little bit of fine tuning maybe for my style of driving, definitely be excited to do that. So we're going to be definitely taking this out with the wheel as well as the 15. So we got one more car of Adam LZ's to go against. I just noticed there's a new opponent button down there. I don't have to keep bouncing out. So a lot of cool new features added into the game. What do we got? We got the donut. Um, you know, we're going to go to Abizu. Go to hills because a better place to take the skyline than there. Let's see if we can find somebody to finish this episode off here in the R32 LZ MFG skyline. Or the red tint windows. Definitely need to drive this car in first person. That's going to be very bright and red. Probably need to stance this out a little bit. The back end looks a little bit high, but we can adjust that, I'm assuming, in our tuning menu. Final competitor here for today in the R32. If we can find somebody, which apparently does not look like anybody wants to go, as I say that, we're going against an auto dev. Well, at least we'll get a chance to drive the car. This one feels like fourth gear, too. Maybe fifth, actually. Nope. We stalled that out. Probably should have stayed in fourth. Maybe gone to fifth on the downhill. Yeah, that's what we probably should have done. Fifth gear kind of just bogs out. So fourth gear is where we need to be. Definitely need to do some fine tuning on these cars. I totally got wrecked. So not a fan of how this R32 is handling right now. So we're going to have to go in and maybe do some tuning to it to see if we can't get it to handle a little bit better. And there's that snap that I was talking about. My controller for some reason I get a massive amount of snap but of course we are running no assists and we are running an aggressive steering on a controller because I forgot to change my settings from last episode when I was on the wheel yep so definitely need to do some fine tuning on the skyline if I want it to run right oh have a bumper so that'll do it here for this episode here on the channel make sure you guys follow me on all social media all the description box below I appreciate you coming back and watching I'm Evil Rabbit see you guys on the track